Hey folks, Dave here. Hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, so we're going to make a, uh, a Christmas ornament with a suspended name and a couple of uh, suspended vectors, free vectors, and I will place links to those down in the description. Uh, the first thing we want to do is make a couple of tools. So make sure up here you're on inches. I'm just trying to save myself some math. So we need three tools. So you can go down to Array and just click out three of them. There we go. And we're going to make one point two five. And the next will be point five. And the next one will be point seven five. And it's just to help us uh, to keep straight when we're putting everything together. Uh, so you can just go down to the bottom and make that a tool. We're not going to cut them. We're just going to use them for sizing purposes. Okay, so now we can grab an ellipse, a circle, hold down your shift key, and just drag it out. And you can go ahead and make that a cut. Then hit your selector tool. And while this is still on inches, just go up and make it four. And it should be four width and height. I got uh, some allergy stuff going on, so... If I sound weird, that's what it is. Uh, all right, so select your circle, duplicate it, and then make it smaller. It should snap to the center, but if something does not snap, you can select it, shift, select the other area you're trying to center on, <clears throat> and then just hit center. So we just want to make this about a quarter of an inch that is pretty close so we're gonna that's all we needed that far <laughs> but it works so we're good okay so next we want to uh, now you can you can just group everything together but there are circumstances that the uh, the weld or the union has not worked properly for me when I just group. So I like to select what I need to subtract from and then shift and select that inner circle and then you can go over and hit subtract. And if you do that, it groups everything together and my preview is on another screen. I don't know why I keep doing that. So. And that's our preview. Uh, so now we want to uh, make space to put our name. So just grab a square. Just pull it across. I think we'll make this a quarter of an inch too. So click your selector tool. Something close to a quarter. You just don't want it to be too thin. Uh, somebody playing around with it on the tree and break it off and you got to get mad at them and all that. So we want to avoid that if we can. All right, so now select that. Right click and duplicate. Drag it out. And you just want to make sure it's touching good on both sides. And then we're going to make the name height will be three quarters of an inch. And then we can center both of these before we weld them. So then you can just grab this one and pull it down. And that looks pretty good. And you can just get your tool back out of there. You can grab both of these, group those together, shift, select your circle and then hit bullseye and you are there 
And then you can go over and hit Union. That's the second one down. There we go. Now we have somewhere to put our name. Uh, so now we want to put a vector in there. I think Santa and a reindeer. Actually, what we'll do is use a, uh, a font. That's what we'll do. So grab your... Uh, and, and this font I will put in the description so you can go get it. It's a Christmas font on the font.com. And uh, the different letters represent different uh, SVGs. So we will use, uh, let me see if that's it. Yep, Christmas. We're going to use the letter F. And you can just hit F. And we're going to put that right there. But first, we are going to do an outline. Uh, and we're in inches. I should, probably should have went with millimeters, changed to millimeters. I switch back and forth all day, and I'm sure you do too. Uh, just do whatever works for you. And that is just an outward outline and sometimes you have to do it a few times so this is our original we're pulling out right here and we're going to keep outline in this one until we get a clean outline we're almost there so you can pull that one out and delete it outline it again and you can keep doing this until you get it clean enough that you can use it as your background. I know it seems a little monotonous, but it works eventually. Hopefully it will. So now I think we can select that one, right click and ungroup it, and then we can take out these bad pieces we don't want. There we go. Yep, so that should work fine. So now, we will grab that, bring it over here. And then this portion here will, will be a score on top of this backdrop. So all we need to do is center that. So you've got it selected. Man, my voice is crazy. And then just hit vertical alignment, pull it over. Uh, select it again, shift, select your whole ornament, and then go over and click the union. There you go. And then this will be a score. And it'll just set right on top of it. And when you're adding scores to your ornaments or any other project you're doing, do not group it in with the rest of the the project uh, because if you have more welding or unions to do it'll it'll cause your entire project to take on the score and then you just have to back up anyway so we're going to pull that out until we need it and i'm sorry about my voice it's awful but i'm out here playing with my laser and i wanted to share I didn't get a laser until like February of this year, and then I didn't really get interested in it until June or July. So uh, I didn't get to make Christmas ornaments last year. All right, that's enough of that. So now we can uh, get a, I think we'll put a sled down here. So, and again, this is a, a free vector. And when your uh, vectors open up, they'll usually open up large. So just go to the corner, resize it, and then that way you can keep it proportionate. Otherwise, you will end up with some weird looking characters. We'll zoom that back up. And really all you need here is for it to touch. So we'll center that and see where it ends up. Shift and select your whole ornament, 
and then do a vertical alignment. And it probably needs to touch a little more, like right there. And I think that's good. So select your sled, select the ornament, and then select Union. And there we go. We have that. So let's add a snowflake while we're at it. Big snowflake. Try to move uh, when you open a vector. Try to move it away from the rest of your work. That way, if it comes ungrouped or something, then you don't end up having everything intermingled. I am really sorry about my voice. But I did not want to wait on doing this until I could talk about it. <clears throat> so we are just going to put a snowflake there. We're going to duplicate that because we're going to put one up top. So select your snowflake, select your ornament, and then click the union. And there we go. Grab this other one. Bring it over here wherever you like. You can make it larger. You can make it smaller. Whatever you want to do. Make yourself happy. So leave that selected. Select everything else. Go over to the left and click in. Uh, now we need to put a top on this. We're going to get around to the name too. Uh, so just grab a square. Just draw it out on top. I'm going to try to make this look like a normal Christmas ball, standard Christmas ball. I think we'll make it about a half inch high. That is pretty close. So we'll go with that. And then we will use this. We'll make it a little skinnier. And go over to array. And so this is your spacing. Uh, we're still on millimeter. So it'll be two millimeter spacing, but you can play around with that. And <clears throat> when you're doing something, uh, it'll rarely uh, do you want things the same. So just play around with it. But you can increase. Let me get this out of the way. This is where you increase the number of columns. And we are going to put these on here. We're going to take one of them back just in case we need it for something else before we get done. Stretch this out a little bit. And we're going to make that look like the top of the Christmas ball. So let's get this mounted here. Set that up there, shift, select the rest of your ornament, and then do vertical alignment. And there we go. And then you can just click. In this case, it's weld. It's the top. So you click weld. And then we need to put a little hole for the hook. So just grab a circle, push shift. Draw it out, click the selector tool, and then put that hole wherever you want. That looks like a pretty good spot. And then we can just group that in. Uh, I almost forgot where group was. Okay, so now we can make these a score. And pull them over. Shift. And then you can do vertical alignment. Uh oh. No, you can't. Control Z. You, we didn't have them grouped. That was the problem. So. You group these together first. Only with themselves. Not, not with. Uh, 
not with the rest of the ornament. So select, shift, select the ornament, and then vertical alignment, and there we go. Okay, so it'll make some burn marks on top, make it look more like it uh, is a Christmas ball. Let's pull these up a little bit so it don't look weird. Now we can put these guys over here. That looks pretty good. Now we can put a name. Uh, when you're putting names in these, um, the fonts can sometimes be really fragile. The scripts look really nice, but they're they're just so fragile. We'll just try this uh, Cooper Black. And all caps. And we will just use Dave. Get your selector tool and we'll resize that. Make it a cut. Grab the corner. And then we'll just make this fit in here. And you just want uh, to be sure you're touching top and bottom. It doesn't have to touch much as long as it's touching a little bit. Get it in there, shift, select the rest of your ornament, and then do a vertical alignment. And then we can select it again, shift, select the ornament, and then do a union. And there is our ornament. That looks pretty good. You can get rid of these tools now. So before we go get set up in the laser, uh, look over to the right, top right. When you have a score, be sure you move that up above the cut. Uh, you don't want to cut first and then score because it'll just make a mess. Okay, so now we can go on to the laser. Let me get set up and I will be back. Okay, we're going to cut this out of some five millimeter Luan plywood. I uh, had it left over from another project. It's uh, typically what's used on the back of cabinets. It's uh, hardwood, uh, but it um, the scraps certainly make some good hobby wood. So let's give this a try. Well, let's see if we can get it out of here. Okay, folks. That is a good looking ornament. Well, I'll put uh, links in the description to these vectors. And uh, y'all go out and give this a try. If you have any trouble, let me know in the comments. And I'll be glad to help in any way I can. I appreciate y'all watching. I enjoyed doing it. There'll be much more to come. So uh, keep checking back for videos often. Uh, y'all take care and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.